Currently in MTG Arena, there is no good way to see a complete overview of your collection and see the uh, collection progress in each set. What we do have is under decks and collection, you have a complete overview of all the cards you own. And you can browse through this and it's quite tedious and not a good way to see like how many white and blue cards you own and how many cards of Ikoria you own. So to do this, uh, you have to install a deck tracker and I have installed MTGA Assistant. Uh, it has several features and one of them is the collection feature. When you click this pane, you can see uh, a collection summary. It is organized by colors uh, and uh, multicolored cards, uh, land cards, and also by rarity. And you can also see the, your vault progress, uh, which is usually hidden. Uh, it divides the collection total collection progress by unique cards. So if you own one of a card, it will count towards as uh, progression to this bar. While the total collection progress is all the cards all together. Uh, what's cool about this is that we also have a pane for the sets individual sets like your whole uh, progress uh, towards completion in each set also divided by a rarity so in with rna i have collected a hundred percent of all the commons and 99 percent of the uncommons and so on and so forth this is really something i feel that should be in the game from the beginning i do not know uh, the reason as to why they haven't implemented it. i'm guessing that it might be a cause of they don't want players to feel la like they don't own any cards because when you're a new player you some of these uh, are basically at zero and you have no progress at all and seeing as this is mtg and there's new sets all the time uh, <laughs> the later you come in as a new player the less cards uh, you will have and you will feel quite overwhelmed so that might be one of the reasons i would think uh, that a card game would have uh, something like this. I also think this is the same case in Hearthstone. So this is probably the reason why we don't have it. That they, they don't want to show it uh, to players. Because it's, uh, it's not a big feature to implement. They already tell us how many cards you own in the uh, detailed logs. So it doesn't cost them any CPU server resources to show you this. This is all stored locally. We are just presenting the data in a nice way. Uh, one cool thing that's also added in the assistant is the ability to see what cards you recently acquired. So you can see here that I, the last card I acquired one day ago is Vinota. And there are also some deck compare where you can paste in the deck list and it will compare to your collection and it will tell you what cards you don't own. Uh, and a crafting tool, like if I want to craft all the Eldraine commons, uh, it will output a list of the ones I'm missing. So I just copy this deck list to my clipboard and paste it in. And then I craft these cards uh, in a deck list and I will then own... So I'm not missing a lot of uh, Eldraine, I'm just missing 12 cards, so that's 12 wild cards. So it outputs a deck list with four of each of those cards and you go to the deck builder and you craft them. But what I wanted to show is the after game summary. So uh, if I open some packs now, I have a lot of packs from Ikoria. Well, let's open three packs. Uh, let's hope I'm not getting any wild cards with this. I have a lot of the common and uncommons. So I got a wild card. Uh, that's not very interesting for me to show off the function. Uh, so I'm getting Mythos of Vadrock. And let's open another one. I'm probably getting some common and uncommons I don't have either. Also more wild cards. Okay, so open three packs. So I want to know which cards I got. I can go to the uh, recent acquired cards. And there's 10 cards I didn't have before. So this is quite useful. Uh, but we can also see the collection progress. So after I close the game. So let's do that. A new desktop window will pop up. And it will tell me like how long my game session was. Uh, it will te basically tell you what you acquired this game session. I acquired one common wild card, two uncommon wild cards. I lost three boosters because I opened three of them. I got some vault progress. Uh, and this is the uh, total uh, collection progress in each of the stats. 
uh, quite nice. I got a couple of new cards that I didn't have. And it also gives you the list of the cards you, you got. This is quite cool. Um, not only so you can see what cards you acquire, but you will also have a good track of uh, what kind of rewards you got, how many gems and how much gold you got. And together with a wall part, this is pretty useful. So you know how long you have to wait until you can open that sweet chest with all those wild cards. Uh, the, the, the collection system is also on the desktop app, so you can open the desktop app without going into the game. And you can see your collection summary and you can also get a crafting tool here and you can also look at the meta game here. And it will tell you what cards you're missing here too. So I hope you found that helpful. I will also present more functions of the uh, MTG Assistant uh, deck tracker, so stay tuned for that.